just missing on that sideline. I think it was wide, but we're going to have a challenge. Lanza thinks he was in, so he must have been watching. And <laughs> we're not on the beach, lads. There is no ball mark. Although the USA players are all over looking at the line. I know the ball does impact hard, but surely there's not an impression of a Mikasa volleyball on the floor. The thing is, the harder the ball comes down, the harder it lands, the more of the surface compacts down and around and spreads out. So there's more opportunity for it to catch the line as if it had just kind of drifted into the block and then just fell down under the weight of gravity. in timeout called Christensen with the serve one what a set from Ginelli one-handed reverse set superb stability from the youngster in the air and then the audacity to go behind to Zaitsev Timeout called. As Italy uh, managed to stay one. Sander. Oh, he's thrown that a little bit too far in front, so has to take the pace off the ball. It's a good block touch by the US to slow the ball down. Anderson slightly out of position. Still, it's being scrambled. Better chance now. Four attackers available for the US, and it's Lee on the C quick, puts it down. And the USA have drawn level. Nice play from Lee. Challenge from Italy this time. Otherwise, they're going to be match point down. Was there a net touch? Someone press the play button. Oh, not. We might have missed a few frames. Here we go. No touch, no nothing. And an unsuccessful challenge for Italy. So it's match point then for the USA. Sander with the serve. Doesn't really have license to go after it because Italy would get level if he makes a mistake, but he's going to put something on it. Well, they couldn't quite get it into a place to have a swing. Italy get the side out, 24 all. This one is on a knife edge. First to get two clear wins the set if it's Italy or wins the match if it's the USA. It's the USA with advantage. They're siding out to bring up a match point each time. So Lanza needs to try and make this difficult for the USA from serve. Oh, he's done completely the opposite. He's made it too easy. Set uh, match point number two for the US. Oh. 
Saksev keeps it interesting. We'll keep going here until somebody does get too clear. There isn't a cap. thought that was going to halt and two players going with him which meant they were slightly late to go with uh, Russell at four match point number three for the USA and look who's about to serve Anderson with the ball Block out by Zaitsev. And another match point saved. Italy are holding on here. They've got some long fingernails. Gianelli. One big serve from Italy could turn it around. Oh, it is a big serve from Italy, and it does turn things around. It's now set point for them. Well, very impressive from the youngster Gianelli. Just 19 years of age here at the World Cup. His team with match points down, and he's turned it around. He's given his team a set point. Now he gets to serve again. Good serve, no middle coming. Slowed down, but Lanz uh, just a little late to move to his left. And the set point is saved. But it's advantage with the Azuri, so long as they can keep siding out. It's a jump float serve to come from the US, just looking at who's coming round to serve in the rotations. It's all pretty equal. It'll be Zaitsev will get to have a serve potentially before uh, any big servers come from the US, although uh, Christensen does have a good jump serve from him, provided the teams can keep siding out. I say not at all happy, but they make a block. They're happy now. They were really upset with that play from Zaitsev initially feeling that he carried the ball may even have touched the antenna but USA get it into transition they get the block they have match point number four Russell with the serve it's an ace serve and the USA have done it what an incredible match. The USA win 3 nothing, despite the best efforts of Italy. The USA on the day, just too good. Well, any worries they may have had about the seven substitutions have disappeared now. And even with the extra player, Italy still couldn't get it done. The USA have kept Zaitsev and Co at bay. It is Anderson and Co who've got the job done and stay top of the table here at this Men's World Cup in Japan. Really good spread of points from the US. Unsurprisingly, Anderson and Zaitsev respectively with more points for their teams, but backing up Anderson were Russell and Sander and Lee and Holtz. 